see if I can even do it. Right, 36, left 10. Left 10 to 26. 59. That's 85. You know, let's redo the math. No, there's no penalty for failing, only penalty for success. That's how it works in this game. Well, that went too far. I was a little bit too worried about uh, my timer there. So I'm starting to guess that I, I'm supposed to just go to the numbers that it listed. After all, otherwise it's extremely tight. And 97. Woot. All right, there's my materia and my death. I should have actually, you know, healed before the fight. That would have been smart. Party sync to oh, that's interesting. So it prevents the fight from getting cheese just by doing it later. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. No, it, it isn't forced now. And I forgot to swap my material back, so that's going to be an extra problem. Let's, let's heal. I almost shouldn't have used Baird's Limit Break. I probably should have just opened with haste. Alright, I'll let the animation play. I'm gonna chuck a Molotov at him. Just to slow him down. Whenever I find the Molotov here. Our damage inflicts slow. Just what I'm looking for here. That should help a lot. Alright, now I'll sense him to see if he has any weaknesses for one. 16,000 HP, weak against Earth. Well, good thing I have some Earth. <laughs> I accidentally equipped it thinking I was going into Mount Nival today. Fractalizer. Sounds cool. Probably won't like it that much. Yeah, that hurt a lot. I don't have any multi-target healing, too, so this is going to take a lot of turns to recover from. I should have had Eris heal herself. I can heal more with Cure 2. Alright, I'm almost- I've almost got my haste and slow set up here. Um... Let's barrier Nishi. He's the most likely to actually get wrecked, even though Barrett's the one most likely to get attacked, so it kind of evens out, but. Alright, Quake 2 should hit him fairly hard. I'm assuming right now that he's super weak to magic and super strong against physicals. That's not how it works in vanilla at all, but. Like, the first form is kind of neutral. actually do. If reducing a defense was ever going to be helpful, it's now. Yeah, it seems to do something. His attacks seem to be mostly magical right now, too, so this barrier isn't exactly all that exciting. But... It's not too big a deal, this seems to be going well. He's not like an overpowered super boss or anything, which is kind of what I was expecting. Just got sadness. Oh boy, he got mini. Well, I'm going to cure, and then I'll have Barret heal himself of that mini status, because... Cloud is doing by far the most damage, so he should continue to do by far the most damage, and let Baird take care of the 
busy work here. If he uses another dangerous multi-target attack, I've got a healing wind coming, so I don't need to worry too much about that. I'm going to try and poison him. In vanilla, he could be poisoned. I have no clue if it'll still work. It still works. It was worth a shot. As I've said like three or four other times in this episode, when something failed, glad to see something I tried worked out. Alright, I think I'll just leave that for now. Oh, I may as well keep the healing up. And save healing wind, rather than try to find a way to use it. Because Eris doesn't do much else. Oh, I should probably have her heal her MP though. That actually is quite important. Oh, but she can't do that unless I use Healing Wind. It's a catch-22! Okay, so he did a thing now. I feel like this is probably his physical form. I'm assuming this will do like nothing now. Okay, that still did massive damage. Well, forget everything, apparently. Yeah, this kind of leaves me in a not great situation. Yeah, that does even worse now. Well, let's continue hitting with Quake 2 then. It's the only thing that matters. Uh, well, I didn't do that in time to actually get the Geoguard on before he did anything. Barrett can continue to do nothing of relevance at all. It isn't even worth a turn to Berserk him in this fight. Actually, what I should do, though, is try to steal from him. Because a lot of bosses do have stealables, even if they can't be more freely. I'm just gonna have Barrett defend. Like, it's not even worth anything. Wow, I'm glad I had him defend, because that hit like a truck. And I do get to... I do get to steal something. In theory, at least. Some of Grudge. Whatever that was, whatever that gimmick was, it didn't work very well. Maybe it's like a Tonberry style attack. I think I'm going to antidote this guy. I don't want him to die of his next poison tick plus a Barret attack. He could have something very important to steal for all I know. Mirasame, that's new. Lost Blow. Well, I don't think he really found it. Will this do? MA. Oh. Well, that wasn't the end. I suppose I should have Garish heal him. Uh, let's see how much he does. Which one he hits hard. Well, quote unquote hard on the right one. That didn't really work at all. That's not what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to spread their attacks out so healing wind does something effective. I'll probably have Garish heal his own poison. I probably want to Osmos this guy. Yeah, there we go. Garish's turn is by far the least useful in this fight. There's a lot of times when Garish is pretty darn useful, but this fight is not one of them. Except for perhaps eating these hits. Uh, he barely lived, so I can heal him. This also isn't the right weapon for this fight either. The Big Shot will probably still be fine, but the fact that he's spreading his damage out, I think, actually does make a difference. 
Alright, so I need to set up a barrier again. I'm really feeling the lack of it right now. It, it's annoying to set it up when you have to... <laughs> it's still so bad, it's embarrassing. Do I even want to attack? It sucks. I'm gonna have Barret heal. I'm definitely much better equipped to take out the magic one, I mean the physical one with magic spells, so... I'm going to focus on that for sure. And let Barret take care of the healing. Oh. Well. Oh yeah, right, I forgot to... I'm stupid, I should have really prioritized Barrier over a failed poison attempt. Yeah, Garish was not able to heal that well. And he had Sadness too, sheesh. That Lost Blow was strong. We're in two. That definitely hit harder. Rough Divide. Sheesh. I need to heal with Meishi. There's no real way around it here. Um, let's see if I can paralyze this guy. It works in vanilla, so I'm hoping it works here too. Nope, it didn't work. Huh? That was weird. Ouch. That did not quite kill him. Um, let's see if I can paralyze this guy. But I am way on the defensive. I missed my opportunity to put up the barrier, that's for sure. I hope it doesn't work on him either. That guy's acting strange, but... I kind of want to stick a barrier up on Garish and get him back into this. And then I can probably get Iris up to full here. Then Cloud's the only one in trouble. Oh yeah, right. They're not on slow. That's my biggest problem here. Huh? Well, that did, like, no damage. I guess it's because I've only ran away four times. Alright. Let's start chucking my Molotovs around here. Ouch. They're mean to slow, too. Or are they on haste? I think they're on haste. Or at least that left one is on haste. That crit would have been extremely nasty. Alright, let's set up that barrier. Sheesh. That was through his barrier too. I mulled up the one on the right, at least. Not worth checking yet, but... I just realized this counter attacks are multi-target too. That's pretty cool. I may as well use Cure, because if I barrier him, it's not going to actually help me. Now I want to chuck a Molotov at the runner, one on the right, see if it does anything useful at all. Because if I can slow down one of them, it'll make a pretty big difference. Yeah, that worked. Okay, glad I tried it. I think Garish needs a barrier still. 
going to reduce its defense, I suppose. What a terrible fight to not have barrier all. <laughs> But now that that second one's not attacking at the same time, it helps a lot. Now I can finally go on the offensive after I Osmos. Better Osmos just in case I go into a healing loop again. Now she needs to set up a barrier on herself. Good thing that move sucks. I think that I'm going to need Restore All, too. Barrett also needs to haste himself. I'll use Healing Wind for that, at least. Powerful. Well, on the plus side, I don't need to eliminate his poison anymore. Ah, oh, shoot. He got magic barrier from somewhere, too. That's just sad. Well, everyone is practically dead, or in Eris' case, actually dead. I am almost certainly going to die here. <laughs> I think Mod Sparks might just knock him down to one, actually. any time to do it. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. Number Cruncher must just do like a thousand. Thank goodness for that move, it's like my only breather turn. Yikes. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let this go. But I do want to sense these guys. Just to get an idea of how much I have left. 16,000. Okay, so it's probably the same as the first guy. This guy probably healed off most of what I did to him, if he even has any damage left on him. Yeah. Hmm. But I could try to get rid of the MP of the one on the right. The one on the left is using his MP too. I suspect that'll actually be a pretty solid strategy. I won't be able to get my own MP back, but... Especially this one on the right. If I can eat, if I can drain his MP with the Wiser Staff and I can drain the other guy's MP with Osmos, 
I don't know exactly which moves I'm preventing. But they had lost like 300 MP and I didn't drain nearly that much, I don't think. And I can't even pick up that red material on this one before the battle starts. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's have Terrish open by slowing up. Let's just sit here and see if I actually got active on or something. Okay, no, he's not. He's just sitting there now. He just does an opening attack. Alright, now where are my... Well, ideally I would go a Molotov. Just survive and all that. And it does a bit more damage. Uh, so that's not the one who can set up one of your bombs. Alright, let's not waste my barriers, my barrier alls yet. I'm just going to use regular barrier on Iris. Algebra spill. <laughs> Okay, there goes 28 MP. Oh, there goes 128 MP. Well, I'm not sure how Algebra Skill works, but that was a lot. So, wait. It's on silence, too. That actually kind of sucks. Um, where are my... Where's there we go? I need to start setting up haste, so I'm not going to have him Cloud attack. Anyone can throw an Echo Drops, including Cloud. Alright, let's barrier Cloud, because Garish is really tanky. Even though most of these attacks are map-based, so... Is there any muscle? Quite this dangerous last time. At least I'm doing good more damage. Alright, so I think uh, Iris is the first one. I'll use this to set a pace. Then I'll have her cure because I'm starting to look kind of low. Then I'll have very useful to break because it's free. And everyone gets the turns back. Alright, now I can cure Barret. You just have healing link. That'll be useful in due time, but not quite yet. Let's just make a trip for Harris. Fake. So I'm not sure exactly how long I have three attacks in there. We go. Route downer. <laughs> Man, these puns. How much I cure here? Because if that's enough, I don't know if kill it. Okay, Cloud can do about a thousand with that, so that's pretty good. And now I have to heal Garish's status, or else he'll be kind of trash. Oh yeah, right, but he also needs haste people. By, and by people, I mean Cloud. Alright, here we go. Things are already going pretty darn well. Though this is definitely the easy part of the fight. That said, I've got some ideas on how to make the trickier part of the fight a little bit less tricky. obviously is dropping slow on the one guy right away because that, that was a complete waste last time not having it slow on him immediately nope huh that's different or is it i don't remember turning into this guy last time i thought he just went straight into the double fight um so that took a lot of damage but bear is hitting really hard what weapon she even has. Oh, that's quite good, I suppose. Yeah, this is barely doing damage. It's not worth the MP. Okay. So, Barret's poison. Let's fix that. I've got so many turns with these two that it doesn't really matter that much. Maybe if I... So, yeah, I'll poke him. It, it's definitely possible that there's a way to avoid the dumb battle, depending on what I do, but... Like, I can do 200 damage instead of 70 if I start spamming MP with Cloud. That seems a bit silly. Can I actually paralyze this guy? No. Uh, I should probably use Breaker then. Guess you can heal yourself. You really got nothing else to do. And also, considering that attack was doing exactly 100, I'm really suspecting that this barrier is not doing anything useful. Nice, double attack there. And then I can point those lightning barrier at him. I don't even think my barrier is doing anything useful, to be honest. What are there some attacks it was guarding against? I swear there were some. Maybe I was imagining things. Pause. Okay, here we go. So, one thing I want to do this time is I'm pretty sure the guy in left hasted himself. 
and I'm pretty sure he was immune to slow. So let's, uh, let's vaccine this guy so that he can't pace himself. And then we'll drop slow on the guy on the right. Or in that my Molotovs. Barrett can heal himself. Ouch. Actually, maybe I should have him out to kill himself when we have uh, Iris heal Barrett. There we go. And then Barrett can just hit things. Constant barrage. I think the other guy will have a turn too, so. Nice double attack. Someone crashed this one, that sucks. Not that I did any better, to be fair. Him. That didn't do a whole lot, but considering it's only Quake 1, I'm supposed to make sense. Ouch. That's the one that hits like a track. Getting people back on their feet in this environment is tough. Oh, come on, really? That had to happen? That's exactly why it kind of sucks, but I kind of wish Barrett guarded at least. Worth the fight. This is, that doesn't even count as HP in half, like I was kind of hoping. I think I'll probably get Cure 2 from Barrett. And Iris also lost her Planet Break. Not that I really had an opportunity to use it, so I don't really feel like I wasted it, per se. Let's just big shot that guy. I suppose I'll always have some magic defenses. Save myself an Ether, probably. This is where he hits himself, but no haste. Take that, loser. Alright, I'm gonna set up Barrier now just in case he does something, and that just missed everyone, so like that. Maybe it'll at least allow me to tank last blow or something like that, but I assume it's calculated in some way, I just don't know what that is. I mean, obviously it's calculated in some way. Even normal team mechanics are kind of like that, but... Alright, I'll cut Quake too, because Iris can cure Barrier. These guys are kind of an onslaught of, constant onslaught of damage, so... I have to be... I have to be really careful. Ouch. That didn't... Oh yeah, right, that takes them down to one. Dang it. I really should have waited to use that here too. Unfortunately, Garish is one of the guards people, so... Dang it, even I can kill him better there. Actually, no, I was wrong, I can't. He didn't seem to have paralyzed though, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to waste turns and putting my sadness back on. However, the beast is definitely going to be useful all the time. Alright, got that off in time, which is good. I suspect one of them's gonna move soon, so... Okay, let's heal Garish up. Have him hit that guy. Have Cloud Brave on that guy, because it's probably free here. That's a little bit of extra damage. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, well, except four. And paralyzed. Oh, that was a paralyzing move, okay. Might be worth sensing the guy on the right to see how close he is to dying. Alright, let's just undo that immediately. Four of one. I don't remember seeing that before. Oh, he healed himself too. Oh, let's undo his healing as well. Definitely a pretty nasty fight. Number cruncher. Okay. Definitely need to some healing now. Okay, someone's gonna need healing after this, I'm pretty sure. That's the one who likes it the most. Alright, get that limit break off. Gonna keep as much damage off as I possibly can. When enemies have the ability to heal themselves. High damage output is definitely important. High damage output like that. 100 damage Barrett's doing, yeah. At least cover counter is still useful. Even if uh, the cover itself is not so amazing right now. I should probably have her heal her MP. Oh, shoot. Oh, does Lost Blow scale with the damage he's taken? Maybe I should have just not attacked him.
Also, the guy on the right seems to be moving a bit faster again. I should probably check another Molotov. It's definitely better to have heal. Okay, Iris is still in range to use Cure. Alright, Cloud is also getting low, low across the barrage. And that's kind of the fight in general, really. Gosh dang it. The fact that they're able to just one hit KO me like that is brutal. And Ferret has been stopped for a long time. There he is, he's back again. Just in time to barely survive that hit. If one dies, it'll be a huge difference, but. Because that basically cuts their damage output in half. Oh my gosh, not this move again. This is a bad time, too. Oh boy, my spirit. That makes a huge difference. Here to her. Here to yourself. The fact that the guy on the right is off of uh, slow is really bad. He, he just healed himself. Gosh dang it. I definitely ran out of him for a long time there. I prefer to just get this off. Even though there's a good chance he'll die from this, but... I don't want him to die without using his limit break. Hopefully I can get this clear to off in time. Escape factors, that's what that move is called. And that sucks a lot. At least I can still hit him with Cloud with that. It's too bad he keeps escape factoring from Merit, because Merit's the one who I need to actually do some damage here. That sucks. I, I'm fine with the guy in the left healing, but the guy in the right healing is a big no no. Oh yeah, what can I move stop with, if anything? I don't know if I have anything that allows me to do that. Assuming that's stop. Petrify and Paralysis. It might also be Paralysis. Assist, shoot damage, cast stop. That would probably work. Assuming it's not any of these things. I can use Curial Greens, that'll help. So I guess I'll use the soft. I also think we can haste back on people. That would be a good help. Okay, good, the soft didn't work. Now. He goes for that counter attack. Oh, he's dead too. Alright, let's get Cloud back on his feet. Wow, I'm running out of Phoenix Downs too, that's also really bad. Okay, good, he picked a good time to heal. And that is not good timing. Yeah, basically everyone's dead. Not being able to defend against their attacks makes this a lot more difficult.
We just asked for us to get back from you if, uh, if you had hit Cloud, but that's not gonna happen here. Alright, let's try to do a better job of keeping haste up this time, because I just completely forgot last time. After a while. Physical guy seems to heal more often, but the magical guy heals for a great deal more, so. And I can still have Baird heal with high potions. Yeah, these guys are somewhat fast even when they are on slow, so I have to definitely be careful. Alright, that's not too big a deal. Ruin 3 is the really dangerous one.
So yeah, I'm imagining the idea behind these guys is that they'll get stronger as you go through the game with, say, your number of escapes and other various things. Oh, okay. So he turned into the physical guy straight out this time. So he'll choose between the physical and the magical guy, and then eventually he'll just become both. Let's sense him, I guess. It's not really worth a whole lot right now, but wow. Let's have Barrick here. He should be able to take care of that at least, right? Not very well, but kind of. He healed for more than the guy did, so... Cloud, yeah, that famous character named Ether from all the Final Fantasies. Very overrated. Alright, so this Quake 2 should do him in. I just want to make sure he doesn't attack first, because I'd prefer to go in with uh, full HP. Okay, let's do it. Uh, might as well let Iris' ATB charge a little. Ozma. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure exactly what it means by that, but okay. So let's let's vaccine this guy, and then slow the other guy down. I'm hoping he won't. I hope that the guy on the right will not end up removing his slow if I don't attack him. Pretty sure this did inflict slow to begin with, but then he seemed to become immune to it. Okay. May as well cure. Alright, save Barrett's turn. Because I want to explicitly have him heal. Especially when high potions do exactly the right amount for stuff like that. I actually should have cl had Cloud Sense first off, but whatever. Magical attackers, I'm really hoping that uh, I'll be capable of doing damage a little bit faster to that guy. Okay. Um, I kind of don't want to use an X potion straight off, straight off the bat. Let's use this because if an experience has taught me anything, I'll probably just lose it or something. <laughs> this is a great time to preempt them and just get back straight up back to full. Now it's braver this guy. If reducing defenses is worth a crud, I, it'll be worth a crud here. Okay, that hurt. I probably should have just had him heal normally. Cloud is now the best attacker. He's able to do more damage than Garish was, that's for sure. Unless Big Shot, because it's probably free. Actually, it really might not be, but... Alright. Let's see if... I don't know how the turns will shake out, so... Okay. Ruptified Mist, that's pretty huge, actually. And then Barrett can use an Antidote. And now let's Quake 2 again. For even more damage. Definitely doing solid damage to this guy so far. I definitely have to control my turns carefully because I, letting them get in more double attacks than absolutely necessary is a bad thing. I 
I'm hoping that... I think the guy on the right definitely got scarier when he was at low HP, so I'm hoping the guy on the left won't be quite as bad in that regard. Or maybe it works completely differently and I'm just getting it wrong to begin with, but whatever. Alright, just have Barrett on standby. He doesn't really need to do anything. Ruin 2. Okay. Now he definitely needs to do stuff. I'll have Iris heal herself because Barrett heals for a little bit more with his high potion. I think Cure 2 from Barrett actually heals a little bit more than that, to tell the honest truth. Hopefully it does. Yeah, a little bit more than a high potion. And it also doesn't cost me a high potion. Ouch. Well, I probably should have healed someone else, but... Alright, even Barrett's Limit Break doesn't matter that much. I'll only use it when I free turn with him. Which will probably be after this quake, too. Oh, shoot. Didn't think he'd slip an attack in there. Alright, I don't want to input my cure spell just yet. I want to see if he attacks first. Yep, and it was worth it. So this time, remember to put haste on him. Let's hope I can get Barrett back on his feet now. There we go. Full HP garish now. I was definitely starting to run low-ish on MP. And now Garish is completely dead again because that move is pretty whack. And I don't really know how it works. Maybe it just depends on how how long the battle's been raging? I don't know. Alright. Can Iris move before they do stuff? Good. And now we can have Barrett haste himself. At least he decided to kill Barrett with Lost Blow, because if he killed someone else, uh, they would have lost their haste as well. But because they, he killed Barrett, who had already lost his haste, it was kind of whatever. Oh, well, Cloud's out for the count. It's nice that I can also rack up a little bit of passive damage with uh, Barrett's counterattacks. Okay, he didn't do anything, so we're gonna get soft off of that. Get soft off of that status! Yes, this character is ether and soft. How do names even work? Okay, he's very close to dying now. Um, I suppose I'll throw out a Quake. Hopefully I didn't just eat a nasty double attack because of that. Okay, he used his Aura of One. That might be the- th yeah, that- Aura of the One is the thing that removes his slow and seems to make him immune to it too. But. He might be a little bit too late on the draw on that, because I can get... I can kill this guy pretty quickly from here, which is an absolute necessity at this point. Okay, number cruncher. Alright, I kind of almost just want to use an X potion. Just to make sure this works. Because I only need to buy myself a little bit more time. In fact, I think this big shot will do it. High defense or no. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Thank goodness. Okay. So we're in the clear now. Hopefully. I probably shouldn't say that before I know for sure, but... With only one of them attacking me, things should be completely different. Now Barrett's the one who needs to be able to attack at a moment's notice. I'll just have Cloud get, get his MP back up. Yeah, that was probably a waste of an X-Potion considering he died before they even attacked. But who knows, maybe he would have attacked before they, he died if and messed everything up. I can't complain too loudly about how that turned out, I suppose. 
Though if I had another vaccine to throw at that guy, uh, that would have made a pretty huge difference too. So what do I want to do at this point? With someone like Cloud, I can just heal Barret. I can have him whack the guy for pitiful damage. I can't remember what staff she's wielding. Oh, it's an Osmo staff. Well, that'll save me neither. <laughs> Ruin three. Well, I've still got to keep up with damage like that, but... I now have two healers to do it, and only one enemy. So yeah, Garish is about to charge up Nishi, and the Mishi's gonna just let it rip. That works out pretty nicely. Definitely a lot easier to talk when you don't have to concentrate as much. Mod Sparks. If that hits Eris, I'm extra lucky. Nope, it didn't hit Eris. So Cloud's my best healer, so I'll have him do that. And then Eris can heal herself. And then Garish can just blow him away again. Just spam those limit breaks. Going after the physical one was definitely a huge uh, benefit. I really should have done that to begin with, to be honest. I mean, obviously, if it was the right choice, I should have done it to begin with, but... I know how to deal with that now. So all it does is really cost me a turn. You might as well hit him, I guess. It's not much damage, but it is damage. Gone are the days where I could get like six turns against anything on slow. Well, now I can definitely have Cloud do something more useful than whacking him for pitiful damage. Okay, let's see who takes the most from this. Looks like Eris is the one who's low. She could actually get hit pretty darn hard. By something like Ruin 3. Ruin 3 is definitely the most dangerous attack this guy has. Critical hit, but it doesn't matter. Alright. I'm starting to run a low on a lot of my status things because these guys inflict quite a few. At least they're not inflicting the same thing over and over again, or probably would have run out of whatever that is. I think he just did nothing that turn. That's better than anything else I can do. Maybe he was actually charging for Ruin 3. Barret definitely needs huge healing after that. His aura of one doesn't seem to be keeping up right now, which is good. Not the best person for him to hit with that. I guess he gets another limit break. It doesn't really matter a whole lot, though. He does almost as much damage just by random, just by attacking. Cloud's limit break is much more useful than Barrett's in this situation. Alright, let's see if Barrett dies or not. This is a small chance, I suppose. Nope, not with his escape factor. Oh shoot, I just targeted him with my healing. Oh, well, that was just plain dumb. He can already heal himself, I don't need to make this even worse. I'm not even blindfolded this time, so I have no excuse. And yeah, he just gained a whole pile of HP back.
If Cloud does another free turn, may as well sense him. But because I wasted it healing him instead. <laughs> okay, this is probably good enough. I think he's probably close to dying now. Two thousand. Yeah, I think I can get away without healing Cloud's MP. Healing Eris is as useful for the dungeon itself, but may as well not heal Cloud. Two more attacks if uh, he doesn't get a chance to use Aura of One, and I don't heal him again, which isn't entirely a given. Oh, huh. He does actually- oh, he does have- like, last time I didn't finish depleting his MP because I didn't think it would actually affect any of his attacks, but I guess I was wrong. Well, that would have been good to know earlier. Well, that's quite a bit of EXP. Got Blade Beam and Seal Evil. That was an entire level. And almost a second one. Sheesh, that's just ridiculous. And I got back all the gill I spent on items to fight this. And I get Odin, which is no joke, probably. Let's see what Odin is like. Death Summon. KO. <laughs> Interesting element. Not actually an element, of course. And he also has a lance, I assume. I'm not sure how that will work. Presumably it's just a non-elemental attack, which isn't that impressive. It's really just a good backup if so that it's not entirely wasted if Steel Bladed Sword doesn't go through. Well, that worked out. Now I guess it's time to go back to the inn and also swap these materia around again. I guess I'll swap Bar Barrett's weapon, too. I'm not sure why I had Bolt on him, but I can give it back to him at this point. Which one did I have on him? Presumably the one that needs to be leveled. That one. And this needs to be Elemental Wind. had transform on him for that, I think. Alright, looks like we're good. I'll just use Barret's MP to heal up, since I don't need that for anything anymore. And we're out of here. That was actually a pretty tough battle compared to most of the like mandatory story fights so far. That was a lot harder. I'm not going to use a tent, because there's an inn right here. I'm literally in town right now, so... Let's do that instead. Because tents are pretty darn expensive in this game. And I ended up with more Phoenix Downs from the High Potions than I started with, didn't really lose any gill, so... Yeah, it was definitely a win. Though it could have been a faster win, I suppose. If I'd made the right choices to begin with. Well, interesting to see how I'll edit that one. See you next time.